Okay, video two for you disco kitties, getting all your new equipment. This is so exciting, oh my gosh. I remember when I first got mine, it was like the happiest day of my life. I think my first one was magenta, and then it was turquoise. And then it was black, and then it was white, and then it was neon pink, and then it was purple, and then... <laughs> anyway, you'll see, you'll get all crazy about it. And then you'll want to buy a lira, and then you'll want to get a trapeze, and then you'll want to get a bunch of hammocks, and anyway. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fabric and either have your brother or sister hold on to one side and then you hold on the other side and get it nice and even so both sides are super even. Or if somebody's not around, what I do is I take it from the middle and I separate it with my fingers like this and then I just pull and pull and pull and pull it all the way down till I can see that my fabric is now in the middle of where I'm going to put my figure eight. Okay, so I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. And I can tell already I'm tiny bit off. Yep, I'm a tiny bit off. So that would mean, I believe, I'm gonna have to take up a little bit on my left side. Okay, so my left side. Okay, but I also um, have a cheating mechanism too, which is if your fabrics have been rigged a long, long time, which these guys have been around for, I don't know, two or three years. I think I got it, I think I got this one right before the studio closed. So it was like my newest one. It, it glows in the dark, it's so cool. So I look at my wrinkles and I go, oh, those are my two main wrinkles. Okay, I'm gonna go right in the middle. Okay, so once you get your middle, then you're gonna take your figure eight and you're gonna place it through the hole, okay? Do not rig this any differently. Um, they will slide out. I know people have fallen because somebody rigged their figure eight really dumbly. So I don't know if that's a word, dumbly. So what you're gonna do is now find your opening in your fabrics, where is that? Do, 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 do. Okay, so here's my opening right here, and I'm gonna come through my opening of the silks, okay? And then I'm going to take, so this is literally right between the two silks. And then you're gonna take this and put it over the neck of your figure eight, and then tighten slowly so that your, see these little arms back here? The arms can actually grab onto the sides of your fabric. And then just kind of keep working it down, working it down, working it down, working it down, till it actually ends up really smoothing out. Let's see, so that one, let's see, looks good. Looks clean. You're gonna see that, that could be a little cleaner. Let's see. And you know, as you work on it too, it will settle. Okay, so that's on one side. That's on the other side. Okay, so then when you do get up there and you rig it, make sure you tug on it for a little bit. Just hang on it. And that's a good practice to get into no matter what you do, right? Like whenever you first rig your fabric, remember how I always have you guys kind of pull on it and jump on it first before climbing up. Okay, so figure eight, carabiner, swivel, carabiner. Okay, one last thing I wanna mention. I have this in my rigging equipment as well. Okay, and of course, peacock tape. These are called quick links. Quick links come in all sizes. A lot of construction uses them. I mean, I would probably think, McKenna, your dad uses them for a lot of the landscaping stuff. So these go like this. Okay, you're in a pinch. They do, they work fine. They're super solid. They, they hold a lot. I think pounds per pressure, this probably can hold about, gosh, a couple thousand pounds, right? Um, actually, Chase, you probably work with these too, right? Having tractors and all. But the problem with this one is it's a screw on, right? It's not a swivel lock. So what can happen with these guys is that they, especially if they're rigged like this, wiggle, 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 wiggle. After so many wiggles, kind of crazy to believe, 
but it can possibly, I mean, not the biggest chance, but still you don't want to take chances. This is, this is your lifeline. It comes undone. And if that comes undone and you do a drop and you bounce and you go flying. So do not use quick wings. Okay. Okay. So I think that's it for silk rigging. Um, I'll keep doing more tutorials. I could probably do one on how to wrap a lira in a trapeze bar. Um, and then of course, rigging from trees right now, I'm getting ready to um, put the new pulley system up. But of course, um, Amazon sent me three pulleys instead of two. I mean, instead, they sent me three instead of four. <laughs> so weird. Okay, guys. Go Disco Kitties. Woo! We gotta make a sign, like... I don't know. We, we gotta work on that. Okay, love you. Bye.